friends. Hi, how are we? Today's Monday. What a good day. What a good day. So I'm going to paint um, more with my Schmincke watercolors and we're going to do another abstract underwater kelp forest. Trying to become, a, I'm trying to like really make a cool like kelp forest painting and like that be part of my thing, you know, like you look at Mitten's work and you're like, oh, she does awesome underwater stuff. And that's what I have to go through every day because I live next to a fire station. Isn't that just so nice for me? Anyways. Oh. I love my cats, but I hate, I hate drinking their hair. These are the little things that trigger me. Yeah, one after the other. Cool, okay, we're gonna paint. We're gonna paint now, cause I, I need to. That. Oh, it's gonna be good today. Hi friends, how are we doing? I hope you're doing very good. Very good, okay, let's talk. So, I think I might do a Reddit story in the end if we have time. Although part of me, I don't know. I'm reading off a of Charlotte Dobre's page and I feel like that's cheating. I don't know. I feel like because it's her page and that's like what she does on YouTube, I shouldn't be reading off of it. But at the same time, it's um, Reddit story. I don't know. Do you guys, what do you think about that? Because do you think it's wrong of me to be pulling them off of this Charlotte Dobre Reddit sub page? What? Sub page? Is that what it's called? See, I don't go on Reddit. I really, I don't. And I know a lot of people like listening to the stories in the background, like I do too. But part of me feels like it's wrong of me to be doing that. I don't think there's any specific rules, but I also don't know. So what do you guys think? If you don't know who the Potato Queen is, she's awesome. Go watch Charlotte Dobre. She's hilarious. I've been watching her since, like, not when she first started, but, like, pretty close after that. And it's, like, insane how many uh, subscribers she has now. Like, she she's, like, made her way. I love her. She's awesome. If I could meet her in real life. Oh! That would be good. Okay, anyways, yeah. So, I don't know. Do you, you guys tell me, is it wrong of me to be reading the Reddit pa stories off of her page? Be I don't know. You guys tell me. I, I seriously, I really don't know. Anyways, anyways, so I just got back from rock climbing and I never go rock climbing with my fiance and he's like a really, really good rock climber. He makes it look so easy. It's not even funny. I'm like, are you part monkey? Like, cause you can like climb anything. So that was good. And then we met up with his, well, I guess it's both of our friend now, but his coworker as well. He came, and his coworker is actually about to leave on a cruise to go to Japan, so I'm super jealous of that. He's going to bring me back a shirt, and I told him to take a bunch of pictures of the gardens and stuff so I can paint them. So that'll be good. And then, oh, and then I, because I was, like, just downtown, I got, I went to the Blick store, and I didn't think I'd be back there for a while since my last trip. Um, You guys, I got so many good colored pencils, like, I, and I told myself, I was like, yo, don't do the crap you always do where you pick the same similar colors. Don't do that. And I was like, okay, if I want to, like, do my shell painting. So, okay, look. Do you see on the left-hand page right now there's, like, a shell painting? Like, there's two technically, but the one on the bottom is much better, I think, uh, personally. Um, yeah, so the colors I used in there were, like, the those are the colors I had, you know. So, but <clears throat> I just got new colors that are more, like, shelly, you know? Like, they're more lighter. And because my, the one color I used to blend is like halfway out, I got a bunch of other blending colors, so they're good. And then I got, um, whoa, what's the brand called? It's a German brand. It's like Tech some, I don't, I don't remember. I want to say Tech Deck, but that's not it at all. We know what Tech Decks are and it's not that, it's not a paint. But they're like really pretty pearlescent colors. I use one of them in the end of this video. Um, but I got two other colors. I got, like, a actual pearl color, like, pearlescent, like, white. And then I got a blue one. The blue one's, um, 
different. It's good. I didn't expect it to look the way it did. It's still pretty, though. It's still pretty. <clears throat> so I'm excited. And then, <clears throat> you know, part of me actually kind of feels bad about going to buy stuff. I've spent like $50, which kind of kind of hurts a little, but it's like at the same time, if I want to make this a full-time career for myself, I shouldn't feel bad about spending money on the things that I use often, you know, like let's say if I like bought a bunch of stuff and I never used it, that's kind of, I think that's not too good to do, but like I'm going to for sure be using them. So I don't know. I just feel guilty. I like I, I should be saving. I, I want to move and I also want to get married at some point and have a nice wedding. So I should be saving. But at the same time, it's like if I'm going to open up a shop, I need I need the stuff, you know, to like create. I don't know. I don't know. I just I just feel guilty for spending fifty dollars on like a couple colored pencils and like two um, glitter paints. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, it's like the world is is just not our oyster right now, huh? It's not, and I'm just kidding. It, it can be whatever we want. It's just the money situation's a little gnarly town, huh? I'm sh- and I know I'm not the only one who's who's you know scrimping and and pinching so anyways um let's uh should I do this reddit story oh I feel like it's wrong of me I don't know and I just tried to look for some maybe I'll just I'll look harder I I won't I won't read off of hers because it feels kind of wrong so I'm gonna I'll come back and I'll after I find a good one okay I'll be right back Okay, I found one. Okay, here we go. All right. Also, also, you guys, I feel like I have to say this. I was just being a butt last video. I know, I know people, you know, English isn't always their first language. I was just being a butt. I know people, like, it's okay to make mistakes. I was just being a weirdo because when I'm saying the story, it's hard for me to, like, say it in a cohesive manner without, like, stumbling on the grammar. So, um... You know, I I don't ever want to offend anyone, so I'm sorry if I did. I promise it's I ain't, I'm not a weirdo where it's like if you can't spell and stuff, I ain't gonna like you or something. I love everyone. Okay, here we go. Horror movie to comedy. Again, did not read it, so let's here we go. During a work trip to Missouri, I landed so late that I almost missed picking up my rental car to drive to my hotel. My boss put my hotel about two hours away since it was the closest to where I needed to go in the morning, and I, w- and I wouldn't have arrived to my hotel until around 3 a.m. or so. That sucks, man. Two hours away? Shite. Okay. I've never been to Missouri, but the part of the ride where I had to... Where I had to... Th- mm-hmm. Where I had to go through was a 60 plus mile long road before the next intersection. I've never experienced driving on a road like this. Just two lanes, no guardrails, only a ditch that led to fields and fields of corn, wheat, and other crops. No street lamps. An itty bitty town that I could drive through in less than five minutes. And these towns were 10 to 15 minutes of driving apart. Again, I've never driven in a road slash town slash area such as this, so I have my high beams on. Drove cautiously and slower than what the speed limit might be since one of the since one other car was zooming on the other side and kept an eye out for animals that might pop out. I've also, for the first time, encountered bugs just being splattered on my windshield, which was honestly something I just thought only happened in cartoon movies is exaggeration. No, buddy, it's not. I oh I stuck my head out of the car when I was a kid, and it fly went in my eye. <laughs> okay. Anyway, as I'm driving, I see man in the field just several yards from where the road was. I only saw him because my high beams. It was 2 to 3 a.m., so dark. I didn't see a car or bicycle around, and I just passed the town maybe five minutes ago. So that was for someone with no vehicle. Wait, what? I didn't see a car or bicycle around, and I just passed the town maybe five minutes ago. So that was for someone with no vehicle, okay? Um, I don't know if it's a hero complex or naivete, but when I see people in distress or might need help, I usually try to stop and help. And in this case, it just seemed like this man was either lost, confused, drunk, suicidal, I don't know. My mind was just going crazy, thinking this man is not in a good place if he's out here in the middle of nowhere just chilling. Maybe he's looking for aliens. Who knows? Even though the road was tight, I backed up the car, put on my hazards, and turned it slightly towards the field so I could take a better look. 
I was in the car and was hesitant to get out, especially because I watch a lot of horror movies and this and this is how some of them start. Yo, okay, okay, okay. I don't like when people interject during the story. I won't do it again. But I'm that kind of person too, and I think it's more like codependency. Like I feel like I need to help people, even though they don't they might not even need my help necessarily. And and it's my mom has like taught me too. It's like and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to say this in like a, a bad way, but it's like let me say this as an example and you might understand where I'm I'm getting at. My mom was in traffic, right? Some and and some dude's car, whatever, he crashed it, didn't work. Out of all the people he could have asked for help with his car, he went up to my mom to ask her for help. And she's like, dude, ask a dude to help you. Why are you asking me? That's really strange. So I'm not trying to say like I don't know. It's like you have to be careful as a female too, especially because it's like, yeah, you want to help, but at the same time, it's like something bad can still happen, you know. So it's like, I don't know. And I'm and I'm that kind of person where I don't think about that stuff beforehand. I just go and help, and it's like, yo, you need to be careful for that kind of stuff, you know. And it's like seriously, like the the guy that went up to my mom. There's a whole road of cars, line of, of cars of traffic. And you went up to her to ask for help. Like, don't be creepy, buddy don't be like and you and I don't know if any of you is going to come in the comment section and be like he didn't know no you he knew like he and she even was like there's like three guys in front of me in the car in front of me like but you chose to ask me so you know it's like it's kind of weird stuff like that you know just be careful just be careful okay here we go but I get out of the car and loudly say hello excuse me do you need any help sir this guy's just standing and swaying a little bit but just staring into the field slash sky are you okay? I said again. Nothing. I debated what to do next. Call the police, honk my horn, drive to the nearest town. But would I even know where to come back? So I took the horror movie action of just going to see the man myself. I went down the ditch and slowly got close only to realize, as most readers probably guessed by now, that it was a scarecrow. Hey! I know this could have gone so bad if it were another situation, but I couldn't help but laugh so hard that I cried. I was generally trying to be helpful and got worried, and turns out I made a 10-minute stop to make sure a scarecrow was okay, but at least it kept me wide awake until I got to my hotel. Ah! Scarecrow! Oh, buddy. At least she made sure it was okay. Um... Uh, okay, so I just backed out of um that story and I'm scrolling down through the reddits. Um, how I got to kill someone without law enforcement getting involved. Um, we don't like that. We don't like that. Unless you had to do it out of self-defense. Don't be sharing that. Don't be sharing that. Um, what is a rich person's money tip you wish you knew sooner? No, we're good. No. Um. Um. I'll be right back. Okay, we found one more. Here we go. We only have like five minutes, so let's do this. I always get kicks and laughs when I, when someone asks me what <clears throat> happened to me and my ex-best friends. Okay, here we go. This happened 2021, but I still remember it as clear as day. So when we had practicals in my um call. In college, my ex-best friend would allow us to leave our personal protective equipment bags in her car until the end of the day. Well, one day I completely forgot my PPE bag being in her car and it wasn't till I got home that I had several messages slash missed calls on my phone. Uh, um, on my phone was silent. Anyways, I asked her if it was alright if she could keep hold of it until Monday and she said that's fine. Well, her mom found out and completely went bl ballistic at me and she was acting as if I had drugs in the bag. I don't even do drugs, so I have no idea where that assumption came from. And I was just laughing at her stupidity. Her mom also went ballistic at my mom and my mom told her it's between me and my ex-best friend and how we are adults so we can make our decisions. But nope, apparently I wasn't allowed to make my own decisions. So my mom and her mom were constantly or were consistently messaging back and forth arguing and eventually me and my mom drive over to theirs to get my bag. Well, on Monday, my course manager asked me and my best friend, my ex-best friend to stay behind and discuss an incident that occurred. 
We, well, halfway through the discussion, I noticed that my course manager has copies of messages between my mom and her mom, so I called my mom and my course manager told me to hang up the phone. I didn't as I was telling my mom about the screenshots that my course manager had in front of her and stupid, and stupid the meeting was whilst both me and my mom were laughing the whole time. So I hung up eventually on my terms and we continued, and when I say my ex-best friends were quick to block me on Facebook, I mean like two seconds after the meeting. So after the meeting, I called my mom back and told her what happened. Now my mom is doing a lot, now now my mom was doing a law degree at that time, so this is where I found out that what my ex-best friend's mom did that was illegal and we could, we could have press charges for it under the data protection act you need permission to take a screenshot and share it to someone the only time this is illegal is if you don't have permission to take a screenshot of someone's personal data including profile picture in the screenshot and include someone's full name now my ex-best friend's mom didn't have permission to take the screenshot and to share it to my course manager so we could be so we could have filled a police or, okay you know what i'm what We're done with that. The video's almost done anyways. I don't know. You guys, that wasn't that wasn't too funny. So... Okay. I'm just reading the comments. Someone put, please use paragraphs. And they put, sorry, I've got dyslexia and I have no idea where slash how to use them. It's okay. It's okay. Anyways, um, I love you guys. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you later. Okay. I love you. Bye. Friends, hi! I know I look crazy right now, but oh, let me adjust. So I need to remind you all that playing with colors is going to be happening soon. Um, get your tickets if you want to like paint with mittens and my best friend. Oh, that's bad. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do some watercoloring. Teach you some cool techniques. Um. I feel like a lot of you already know them, so for those of you who haven't watered color before and would like to paint with mittens, hi, join. Um, I'll put the links down in the description, or if you want to go to my Instagram, uh, the links are in my bio as well. So the tickets are going to be $19.99 until September 7th, and then they go up to 25 doll hairs, okay? Okay, so get them quick, all right? Um, also, the storefront go there if you don't have any watercolor supplies and if you're wondering what mittens picked out that's in the storefront okay so it's going to be september 21st from 4 to 6 p.m love you guys hope to see you there don't forget to like and subscribe hit the bell if you want to be notified if all goes well wednesdays will be upload days wednesday's child is full of low. okay bye